Good day, everyone. My name is Jung Eun Lee from KIST, South Korea. And today, I will introduce my new work named Piety Fu, which focuses on high fidelity closed human reconstruction. This work has been done with Sang Eun Kim, Han Sol Lee, Terendur Adia, Hwa Som Lim from KIST, South Korea. Our objective is to reconstruct high fidelity close read human model from a single image for making more accessible human digitization. In this field, the pixel aligned implicit function has been a significant advancement. It captures intricate local details by determining the occupancy field using pixel aligned image features and depth values. However, PIFO's dependence on depth value alone in the same way can lead to issues like floating artifacts and unnaturally elevated body parts, especially when depth ambiguity exists in the image. Our goal is to address these challenges through the diffusion strategy. While many recent studies have also aimed to tackle this issue, most of them concentrate on conveying rich features while maintaining PyFu's point-wise occupancy estimation strategy built on the MLP. Although this MLP-based occupancy network is computationally efficient, it heavily depends on image feature without considering the 3D distribution. This limitation can compromise its ability to reconstruct plausible geometry, especially when an input image significantly deviates from the training data distribution. Some research, such as GeoPyFu, adopts a 3D unit-based approach to learn 3D correlation. However, this method also struggles with the same situation. So, our key idea to address this issue is that using diffusion model for line-wise estimation conditioned by pixel-aligned feature with the guided attention. Let's delve into how the model works. Firstly, it employs a diffusion model to learn 3D geometry distribution for utilizing robust convergence toward train distributions. However, applying the diffusion model to directly learn 3D geometry is challenging due to the need for a large dataset and high computational resources. To mitigate these issues, PyDFU focuses on 1D geometry distribution along camera arrays, reversing 2D spatial correlation during trained image encoder, thereby improves reconstruction of images outside of the training domain. Secondly, this reconstruction robustness for unfamiliar images is strengthened by conditioning the diffusion model on image feature using the guided attention named Feature-wise Linear Attention Phila. By incorporating a feature-wise modulated feature into the existing path of the diffusion model, the model can prevent drastic shift, thereby avoiding the generation of incorrect gradient when encountering unfamiliar images. Finally, our method is designed to integrate seamlessly with existing PIFO-based methods since our work only changes the surface classifier part. By changing point-wise estimation to line-wise estimation and employing the diffusion model instead of MLP as a surface classifier, the entire network is trained in an end-to-end -end manner with various PIFO-based methods. So, this is our full pipeline. And here's result. We compare PyDFU into two main scenarios, the vanilla PyDFU case and the integrated PyDFU case, comparing them with PyFU, GeoPyFU, and integrated PyFU, which is the state of the art. And our experiments were performed using three datasets. T-Human2, Bob, and SSHQ. SSHQ used for qualitative insight due to its lack of 3D ground truth model. In both scenarios, PyDFU outperformed the baselines. Also, the integrated PyDFU case shows PyDFU can be incorporated with various pipe methods, as mentioned before. In our evaluation study, we concentrate on two key aspects. Firstly, we examine the impact of the diffusion model by comparing it with RayPyFu, which uses line-wise estimation with an MLP instead of the diffusion model. 
Secondly, we compared phyla and phylum conditioning muscles. In both aspects of our study, the result indicates that our muscles operate effectively, particularly in managing out-of-distribution features. Thank you for listening.